and welcome to your go market update for today the 5th of july 2022 with mike smith senior analyst at go markets let's have a look at what's coming across the news today of course markets start in the new quarter cautiously with a big fortnight ahead the u.s markets return after a long weekend and independence day yesterday and europe closed mixed in yesterday's trading u.s futures are very positive in asia which is a significant improvement on where we were yesterday and Asian indices are higher, though the ASX is lagging with that RBA ahead. That interest rate decision is expected to increase rates by around about 0.5%. Consequently, the ASX is muted at 0.3% of the upside. Energy stocks are leading the way after oil had a strong day yesterday. European futures are also pointing to a positive open. The US dollar index is higher in Asian trading today looks set to test mid-June highs. Gold tests and holds the key 1800 level that it's been toying with for the last couple of days. And oil is moving higher again, as we've suggested. It is actually through 115 on the Brent crude CFD contract. VIX has dropped a little bit and is below 28 this morning, which is an important level. But of course, it is a busy fortnight we've got us jobs week and inflation numbers due out over the course of the coming days as well as us earnings season kicking off next week bitcoin is managing to hold twenty thousand support with a positive day in asia so far and as i said it is the rba decision this afternoon as much attention will be paid to the statement that goes along with that which may telegraph rba thinking for the coming months on top of that, we've got global services PMI data, which is important as the manufacturing PMI data, along with much of the economic news, is showing signs of economic slowdown. And of course, it is US Jobs Week. So a lot for the market to digest. We've got a couple of charts of interest to have a look at today. We're going to start with the Canadian dollar yen. And you can see we're having a positive day in Asia today, which looks as though it's challenging this key 105.71 level. Plenty of upside on this possibly up as high as 107 if this momentum continues if we look at the 30 minute chart you can just see what's happened in asia once it broke through this key level we've continued to move to the upside and now are over 106 importantly so 107 is potentially on the cards that looks as though there's broad yen weakness today in the asx wtc in the tech space looks very interesting we have a move today which is testing this high that we hit a few days ago and looks as though we may be on for a significant test of this 39.50 which we would suggest is a key level a possible move up to test this 200 ma around about 44 dollars looks certainly possible and should it get anywhere near that that will be a significant return on investment trade safe and we'll see you again soon bye bye for now